It is a very interesting uh, abstract because uh, the idea is to try to combine anti-angiogenic agents because we know that this is working in this field of hepatocellular carcinoma and uh, anti-immune checkpoint because we know also that this kind of drug are, are working in hepatocellular carcinoma. And in fact, combination of anti-angiogenic agents and immune therapy seems to be synergistic. So the idea of this trial was to combine bevacizumab that is active in hepatocellular carcinoma, but that was not developed in hepatocellular carcinoma because there, there was the approval of sorafenib, but to try to add bevacizumab, intravenous administration of this antibody, with uh, atezolizumab, that is an anti pdl one from the same company, Roche, and to try to evaluate this combination. It has been given in, uh, in, in some patients, and what is interesting in first line is that it is able to uh, give a response rate that is higher than 30%. So this is very good for hepatocellular carcinoma. And more interesting was the progression free survival with very, very long durable response. And after that, the median progression free survival is more than 12 months. This is something that is very new in this specific field of hepatocellular carcinoma. So after that, it has been decided to try to confirm this data and there is an ongoing phase three study evaluating the role of this combination uh, atezolizumab plus bevacizumab versus the standard of care sorafenib in first line treatment of hepatocellular carcinoma. The name of this trial is EMBRAVE150 and we will get the results of that probably at the end of next year or beginning of 2020.